It's time for another episode of my Chelsea career on FIFA 16. Welcome everyone and thanks for joining me. Look at our next couple of fixtures here in October. We've got Swansea, my former club, up next. Then we've got Valencia in the Champions League. Then we've got Liverpool at Anfield. We've also got a fixture in the Capital One Cup at home to Wigan. And then we finish October at home to Man City. Here we are, Coutoir, he's looking ready, he's going to have to be on top of his game today as we come up against a very feisty attack of Swansea City. There is the rest of the team I've gone with, Ward Prowse and Fabregas in central midfield, William Payet, Costa, Hazard, they all start as well today with John Stones and Kurt Zuma at the back, the two commanding centre-backs for Chelsea who've been solid so far this season. For Swansea, you notice that my signing, my final signing of Courtney House starts. They've got Mane, Montero, Sigurdsson, they all start as well. Uh, we'll dink that over the top. We'll prowse on to Willian. Let's get moving. Gonna have to try and get round Suarez. He's no pushover. There we go. Let's go for goal with Willian. Fabianski with a good save. It's gone out for a corner. Might be able to get something from this. Just under 20 minutes gone. So a bit of quality in that ball. Well, Prowse. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It's an absolute scramble for the ball. And finally, it ends up in the back of the net. I'm not sure if that... Was that a known goal? I think that would be classed as a known goal. Costa can't claim that, surely. And for our second, Dimitri Payet. Feed that off to what Prowse. Is it time for a Swansea attack? Certainly looks like it. I'm not doing anything to stop it. Here is Suare, who I signed from Crystal Palace when I was in charge at the Liberty Stadium. He uh, really did well to fill in for the injured Neil Taylor at the time. We can just get rid of that. Cork onto Andre Ayew, who Swansea signed on a free, if I'm right in saying, in the 2015 2016 season. Montero, I'm not concentrating here. It's through for key, and it's cost me. It's an equaliser for Swansea City. It's 1 1 here at Stamford Bridge. What start to the second half then for Swansea City? Look at that, the little exchange between Key and Montero. Montero feeds it through, simple finish. Just try and knock the ball around as quick as possible, try and knock them off their game, Swansea. See if we can cause them to make a few mistakes of their own at the back. Tremolinas, it's into the box, looking for Diego Costa. It's right back out to uh, Benoit Tremolinas. Here we go again. Gonna have to get past Ayu here. Yeah. Now's the time, Batshuayi. Let's see what you can do. Show me why I signed you in the summer and a straight Fabianski. Another good save and another corner. Certainly a game of two halves here at Stamford Bridge. It's ended all level. Chelsea won, Swansea City won. And this time I failed to beat my former team who I started this career mode save with back in the first season and then moved to Chelsea, obviously. But we just, we couldn't get past their defence in the second half. It was ever so frustrating. Uh, let's see who we got. I really want to use all these young, talented players that I've got at my disposal here, but there's just so many of them. It's difficult to pick. And, of course, we need those three points against Valencia in the Champions League group stages, so I can't really be taking any risks. So I'm just going to drop James Ward-Prowse, and I'm going to put Ward-Prowse on the bench for Quadrado. And I think I'm going to start Batshuayi for this game instead of Costa, who's been poor. Some for Piatti. Oh, nicely done there from John Stones. Read the game well. Faguli, though, picks up the loose ball. He's hit the post. Oh, my God. We've got off lightly there. It's back in. Fabregas. There we go. We can clear. Oh, my God. They've got it again. Piatti cutting inside. He's just so quick, so small and so agile on the ball. Look at this. Piatti. I'm just failing massively and closing them down and trying to win the ball back. Fuego onto Gaia. Gaia again. Oh my god, what a save by Courtois. Keeps us in it. That is Pjanic with the corner. I did want to sign Pjanic for uh, Chelsea, but oh, they've hit the post. But Valencia snapped him up before I could even make an offer. Can't afford a draw or a loss here today. Ward Prowse, who's done okay since so coming on to replace John Obi Mikel. He failed to impress. Here we go, bit of space, yes. On the finesse for Batshuayi, that's what I'm talking about. Get in, 78th minute, that's why I started him in place of Diego Costa. I don't think Costa, with his form at the moment, would have been able to put that away and put us a goal up. But there we go, what a move from Chelsea, what a finish from Batshuayi. 
Could we be on for a second before that full-time whistle? I'm going to hit this outside the box. William. Oh, it's a good save by Ryan. They're going to clear that guy up. Ooh. What a lad. Batshuayi with the only goal in this game to separate both of these teams. With the winning goal in that 78th minute. Finessed into the bottom corner. Beautifully done. And I bet Pjanic is wishing that he had actually made the move to Chelsea now instead of Valencia. It's a good three points for the group stage anyway as we move on. It's just tough game after tough game after tough game at the moment for Chelsea. Up next, we're at Anfield to take on Liverpool. You can see I was in the headlines. Paint warns players to use their heads. We need to be getting down to business. We need to be scoring those goals. You can see that Liverpool, they're two points behind us with nine games gone. We're in fifth. We need a win here today. Oscar. Oscar. Come on, Ward Prowse. I think I'm just going to stick with Ward Prowse now in that central midfield instead of um, bringing in John Obi Mikel. He was poor against Valencia. And I'm, I'm just going to wait out until Matic returns. There's Liverpool. Wow, Berto Moreno moving the ball forwards for his side. Danny Ings to Nangolan. Nathaniel Klein. Oh my words, Courtois making an absolute meal out of that save. He could have easily have saved that. Could have just caught it in his hands, but no. Oh, Liverpool could be on for the first goal of the game. Markovic. Why is Markovic playing this game? Lalana. What formation are they going with? Because it looks like Nathaniel Klein is in midfield. Well, what a letdown of a match. It was certainly a difficult one. It was always going to be difficult coming to Anfield. It was tedious. Both teams were almost balancing on a knife edge. Who would get the winning goal? And in the end... Neither team did as it's ended nil-nil. Point, it's better than none, but we need to get us out of this rut. It's time for the Capital One Cup. It's an opportunity for players that may not get in the first team as much as you'll see in my starting lineup today. Begovic in goal. Aspilicueta to start with John Stones and Zuma, but Nathan Ake is at left back. Midfield, Loftus Cheek comes in to replace a tired Fabregas. Pyatt starts also with Batshuayi at front. I've got Christian Atsu. Out wide on the right with Kennedy on the left. And oh my god, we've got our work cut out today as Will Griggs starts for Wigan, who only cost them £1 million. This should be interesting. Well, prize, can we get the first goal? Here we go, Kennedy. Through for Batshuayi. Really should be tucking this one away. How is he not making it 1 0 there? Oh my god, it's Will Grigg. Will Grigg, or is it Will Griggs? It's gone wide. That's terrible from Wigan. You shall be released, Christian Atsu. I know one of you guys made a comparison in the comments below with him and William. See where you're coming from. Here we go. We could get the first goal. Uh, maybe not. On for Christian Atsu. Absolutely dominating this right side. Look at the pace. Getting away from his man, Reese James. And it's in for Batshuayi. 1-0 to Chelsea just before half time what a time to score completely changing the landscape of this game now as we head into the second half what a run from Atsu though oh what the hell ref free kick Dimitri Payet just gets a warning from the ref looks like we're gonna gonna make a sub and it's not Will Griggs to take oh he's gone off but power's gone for goal there with no power at all okay Nice little bit of skill there from uh, J James Ward Prowse. Hasn't done much for him though. Power powering his way through almost. And yeah, that's not going to find Loftus Cheek. Power. And McKay went for goal and it's way over into Rose Ed. Just try and prevent them from taking the short kick. Which I know the computer does sometimes. It's into the box. And it's Begovic with a simple save. Makes it look so easy. Here we go. Atsu through the middle. For Marin. Marco Marin on the left. It's took a deflection. It's out for a corner for Chelsea. What a rubbish clearance because that's gone straight to Nathan Ake. Marin on for Christian Atze. I'm going to go for goal. Long range. Can he do it? Hit low and hard. Just not sure what is going on at the moment. I'm having dull game after dull game at the moment. Still 1-0. Finally, I can breathe a, a sigh of relief there. I'm so glad that game is done. Yes, it was tough again, but it just seems like I'm getting dull game after dull game. Nothing seems exciting at the moment. There doesn't seem to be any chemistry with the team. 
we can't seem to score as many goals as I, I would hope for. I mean, Batshuayi, he should be banging them in, but he's not he's not doing that. Nor is Costa, nor is uh, Hazard or Payet. I just hope we can get ourselves out of this little rut very soon. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you've all enjoyed. I'll see you all soon for the next one.